You ready? Are oh, you ready? Are you ready? Let's. I don't think neither of us are ready for this. I must admit, I'm a little. Bit, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. As you can see from the title of this YouTube video, we are spending all of our life savings, and we're making the big move to. America. So we are shaking things up a little bit on the channel. Uh, for those of you that have been around for a while now, almost from the beginning, you'll know that a lot of our stuff was, I don't want to say travel related, but was more a little bit of like what's going on around Cape Town um, and a lot of the 4x4 content, the DIY content. And that's all going to stay, but we're changing things up a bit. It's a little less than 21 days and we are getting on an airplane and we are moving to Chattanooga in Tennessee in the great United States of America. Of America. We'll and we're put super that name excited. down there for you because I'm sure all of you are going, what? Where are you moving to? Chattanooga, yes. Yeah, so it's got A's and T's and N's and you name it, it's got it in there, but we're going to a little town of Chattanooga. It's going to be a big change for us. Um, we both, I mean, you guys will know, we come from Cape Town. There's 4 million people in the metropole here. And Chattanooga, last I checked, was at about 400,000 people. So a tenth of the size in terms of population. And yeah, we're super excited. And that's probably the easiest part of this whole move is telling you guys that we're going because we're moving. We're moving. But with this move, we are literally each going with two bags of luggage. And that's it. We are selling up everything in South Africa, the Pajero Sport, the Jimny, uh, Lindy's beloved lounge suite that <laughs> I just have loved from the start. Uh, and that I'm sure he'll put a match to before we leave. Okay, so the big question we always get every time we tell somebody we're moving, we're immigrating, is why? Why would you want to leave Cape Town, South Africa to a country that you've never been to before? I've been to America. <laughs> I have not. Lindy's Sadly. never left South Africa. Yes. So why are we leaving? I mean, we've been married for almost four years. It's four years this year. And just before Lindy and I got married, and one day we'll have to share the story of where we met and how things <laughs> happened there because we tell people and they go like, no, 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 that can't be, that can't be real. And I go That's like, a whole well, other waffle of a story. The bar story is that we met while wrangling crocodiles, you know, down at the beach and go, people go like, no, we can't believe that. Then we tell them, they go like, no, the crocodile story sounds more believable. We just decided, <laughs> hey, before we have kids, before we settle down, let's go out, let's experience it. And it just so happened that I've been to America. I said, hey, America's great. I want to go there. And Lindy found a company there that was willing to sponsor us on this trip. And they have been phenomenal. I mean, we got paperwork literally five days before South Africa went into our national lockdown just over two years ago. Can you believe it? So this entire process has been a two and a half year process in the making. And I suppose if it wasn't for COVID, we would have been there already. Long ago, long uh, ago. But you know what? It all happens in its own time. Yeah, and, and one of the other big questions that I just wanted to address with you guys now was everybody goes, well, where did we start? Where did we start with this? You know, how did, how, did, how did you end up in America? Or how did you end up wanting to go to America? And put all of our dreams and aspirations aside and the things that we want to get up and the things that we want to do and everything like that. It really just starts with a job search. You have to find somebody in America, a company that is willing to sponsor you for this whole process. They have to pay for everything. They have to pay for the lawyers. They have to pay for their application fees. There's been costs that we've had to incur. I mean, we've had to renew driver's license so they're valid for the whole period when we're in America. New passports. New passports. I had to mid-process go and get a new passport because of the delays with COVID, my original passport would have expired. Unabridged birth certificates, unabridged marriage certificates. Uh, There's been so many different paperwork that we've had to sort of get and Make sure that it's up to date and at least valid for about three years. But I think that's a whole nother kettle of fish. And that's a video that we can address if there's any interest out there. But basically to give you a, a roundup of it all, we're, we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia first. We will be staying with friends. <laughs> Bunking in the basement. And very American thing to do. And we're very <laughs> grateful. So we literally, we live in Cape Town, South Africa, and we have got no home on the other side. We have no plan in place as to what we're going well, to no, do. Well, no, let's rephrase. We have got a plan. We know what our plan is. We're going to arrive there, and then we got, we've got a list of things we need to do. We have to get 
local tenancy driver's licenses. We have to find somewhere. Lindy, you know, Lindy says we don't yet know where we're going to stay permanently so, when so we get there. So there's a process in place, yes, but nothing is planned to the two. We have an idea of actually what we, we need to do, but we don't have a physical plan in place as to where we're going to stay. We don't have a home when we get there. That's why. We, <laughs> we don't have a home. We don't banking. have a car. We don't have a bank account. We don't have a social security number. We've got nothing. But are you worried about that? <laughs> so Lindy may, be a, <laughs> Lindy may be a little bit worried about it. I'm not um, because I'm of the opinion, you know what? If we can't find somebody to stay, I'll go and buy a camper van. And Lindy doesn't like this idea, but we will be camper vanners. And is that even we, a term? <laughs> it is now. And we will live in, Wal, Wal, in Walmart's parking lot and Target and Costco and whatever else is there. We, we will do it. Um, and I keep on talking about, you know, Lindy and work and that type of thing because Lindy was the one who found work. Lindy was the one who's getting there. Um, Lindy's got, well, getting us there. Lindy's got the qualifications. And what am I going to be doing full time? He's going to be a house husband. Yes, I'm going to be a house husband. But more importantly, I'm going to actually take on YouTube full time. So it's been, this has been a passion project of mine uh, since we started just over a year ago. And I've been doing the edits. I'm the one that does all the editing. Uh, a lot of the filming, Lindy does some of it. And I'm going to be doing this full time. I'm not going to be working in America. I'm going to be taking you guys with me on more vlogs, uh, more experiences, sharing some of what it is like to pack up here in South Africa. Uh, we have already sold. I mean, if I had to show you some of our walls behind the camera, we've got no more picture frames on the wall because that's been sold. This um, is the last prettiness that you see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everything like this little sign, you can't see the whole thing, but this was a beautiful thing that we had done for our wedding. That's going to be sold. Literally everything's going to be sold. We are going with two bags with our personal belongings. What doesn't fit stays behind and we start in the fresh. So we really hope that all of you subscribers that are here now will continue to stick around with us. I do plan on getting another 4x4 when in America. Uh, I plan on building a, a big rig there, you know, like the big old V8s and whatever else. I do plan on doing that. It's obviously going to take a little bit of time to get there. But I want to share some of uh, some of this journey with you guys, especially my South African subscribers that are here and my friends, to say this is what it's like getting to America. Um, along with the challenges that we're going to face, not just when we get to America, it starts now. As I said, 21 days and we're getting on a plane and we're flying out. We have still got so much stuff to pack up and sell here. And part of that is is the journey. Um, you know, we've we've done a test trial run of, of packing our clothes into bags and we've donated so much already, clothes, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, because we just we Richard can't had it. a bet that all his clothes will fit into his bag. And I was like, nope, I don't think it's going to fit in. If you want to see that, head on over to Instagram. And here's my Instagram, uh, what do you call it? Instagram tag, but, name, know, whatever. Here down below, it'll also be in the description. Um, I upload a lot more real time in terms of what we're getting up to and all of that type of thing. Head over to there because that's where we did a trial run. And I put it out there and we had some of you guys saying, oh, no, no, it's never going to fit. And some of you saying it didn't. Spoiler alert, it, it, it did. <laughs> so I can literally pack up all my clothes into one bag and I'll be sorted. So that means I'm allowed to take my tools, my... Uh... So we hope that you will stick around for these videos. Um, we're closing and we're gonna spend some more time with family now. We're gonna do some exciting things before we leave still. Uh, but most of all, we wanna share it with you guys to document the process, to share what it's like packing up, leaving the country. Um, flights are booked and we're ready to rock and roll already. We want to fly. So watch us pack our entire lives into two suitcases each and set off for the big, great America. Now that I'm going into this full time, if you would share, like, comment, share this with your granny. You know, that, that's kind of my tagline. Like, share it with your granny because she wants to watch it with you as well. Because I really want to grow this channel and I can't grow it without, uh, without your help. So thank you to everybody that's been on this journey so far. Um, we've really wanted to share this news like formally for a really long time. And this is it. You will see some of our branding change because we've got little r and uh, logos with the American flag in that we're super excited about. So, yeah, stick around. And I hope that if you haven't subscribed, you'll do so and you'll join us on the journey. Just to give you a little hint that um, we're going to a very exciting little town called Chattanooga. And Chattanooga is known for its outdoor activities. So you'll be seeing 
a lot of that. And the best part about this, well, one of the best parts, Lindy will only be working four days a week. Um, she's working for an awesome little dental lab there, and we'll share some more about that in some of the upcoming vlogs. But so we're going to have long weekends every weekend. That's the plan. Um, and That's lots of fun. So yeah, that is our update for you guys for the time being. We really have invested all of our life savings to get to this point. It's cost us a load of money, but you know what? It's so going to be worth it. And we're really looking forward to getting to Chattanooga uh, in probably about four weeks time. Once we've settled down, we've got our things in order, but you guys are going to be along for the journey. Make sure that you smash that subscribe button, um, hit that like button, comment down below. We need your help to grow the channel. Um, and we really want to share this with you, not just um, because we enjoy the experience, but because we want to enjoy the experience along with you guys. So we hope that you'll join us. Catch you on the flip side. Until next time. Ciao.